it hasn't, Taylor. It's decided that it's time for a little nap before carrying on feeding. So it seems as though it's feeling a little bit full and it's just going to sit and wait until the feeling passes and it can then start feeding again. But this has got to be some of the best views possible of this aisle. It is so relaxed. I mean, we're sitting no more than 10 meters from this aisle and it really is an incredible experience because the aisles generally tend to be a little bit nervous and tend to be quite flighty but this particular individual is absolutely wonderful and providing us with the most beautiful sighting i'm really so chuffed that we were able to spend time with an owl like this it's not something as i said just now that we'll see every day so very very cool to see and i I would love to know where it hunted and what it grabbed because it would be very interesting in terms of just a, a prey sort of knowledge as to what they're actually hunting in this particular section. But it's not going to get better than that. A full portrait of a Varose eagle owl as it looks towards us. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And you can see the beautiful facial disc, the light white around the eyes to help bring light in at night big binocular vision to help with depth perception which is very common on predatory birds or predatory animals we know the lions have very similar facial structures and then that massive beak what a wonderful sighting this is KJ, you're asking what the life expectancy is of a giant eagle, of a rose eagle owl. I'm actually not sure, KJ, to be honest, we spend so little time with them. I've never actually looked up the life expectancy of a owl, but let's have a look. I've got a book here that maybe we can try and see if there isn't something inside here that tells us about it. Um, I would imagine that it's a fairly long-lived bird. Given its size, you find a lot um, of the the bigger sort of e eagles and, and larger birds live for quite long, so 15, 20 years. But let's have a look and see. I'm just quickly trying to find it. But I'm actually not 100% sure, to be honest. It's, it's one of those things that we don't really look at that often, so it's difficult to know exactly how long they live for. just trying to find some sort of sign of it but I can't see anything at this stage I'll I'll keep having a look through and maybe I'll find it while we just look upon our beautiful owl the Ellie's are still around there we don't have a great visual of them at the moment given that we moved slightly forward to get a better visual of our owl itself so I don't really have great visual of them but hopefully they're going to come up and start Dalrez, you're wondering if owls will hunt snakes. Well, Dalrez, some would, I would imagine, but remember that a lot of the snakes don't move around too much at night because they know the chances of being moving around at night means that they could potentially be prey and fall victim to lots of predators. There's leopard, there's lion, there's genets, there's civets, all of which, white-tailed mongoose, all of which will go after a a snake and so most of the snakes will seek refuge at night in some sort of a thicket or try and not spend too much of their time out but owls have a very wide variety of food particularly these giant eagle owls or varroa eagle owls they at the end of the day will eat all kinds of things i've seen them eating genets i've seen them eating baby civets seen them eating a baby baboon so they go after mammals i wouldn't see why they would be scared of going after a snake or two either so they are definitely major major um, predators of all kinds of different things mostly mammals but I wouldn't be surprised they will then go after snakes and reptiles as well but I can't find anything as yet um, on our eagle owls so I'll just have to look maybe some of you at home might know hashtag safari live if you do know the life expectancy of a Varose eagle owl it's really quite interesting I honestly have never really thought of it that much but I would imagine my guess would be somewhere between 12 and 15 years that's where I would go for maybe even around 10 but I would somewhere around that area between 10 and 15 would be my sort of guess somewhere around that sort of estimate and I was really hoping it would start feeding again. It was just so interesting to watch it feed and to watch how the beak works. It, it's such an insight into something we so rarely see that it's worth spending some time and waiting. I know it's a bird and I, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't worry too much. But for us, this is such a special 
and a rare occurrence that it's worth sitting and worth enjoying and taking it in and watching how this bird goes about its business. It's not every day that we get a lesson in, in such close proximity as to how they actually go about dismantling their prey items. What is very, very obvious is the way that it's eaten already is it's taken the innards out of that particular carcass. You can see it's opened up the cavity, pulled the innards out, and it's then feeding off all of the flesh around that. So they're not actually eating too much of the innards that I can see. I would expect them to eat though the heart and liver and all the nutritious organs much like what lions would but they might discard some things i'm trying to look on the ground and see if there's anything there but i don't see any signs of bits on the ground it's just a few feathers that have floated down every now and then so interesting just to see how they feed but they definitely go abdomen first into that cavity and get rid of all of that and then when we saw it feeding it was pecking around the rib area of that bird the thing about birds and what's much easier than eating something like a genet or, or one of those small mammals is that they're able to break the bones a lot easier a, a bird's bones are very very fragile they're very light because obviously birds have got to fly they can't have the heavy bone structure and dense bone structure that mammals have they wouldn't be able to get off the ground so they've got much denser th I mean much lighter um, bone structures and that means that this owl will probably be able to break through most of that and I would imagine it's going to consume pretty much everything bar m a few of the feathers but I would think it would eat all the rest of it as it goes about its business. So if I tell you what let's have a look at the Ellie's while 